Hey guys, wanted to take another video kind of in response to my last video to show what uh, where I'm at now, a couple months later. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, not fantastic. So actually I'm looking for a little bit more feedback, comments, maybe someone can help out and tell me what the heck is going on here. So let me just zoom in here so you can see. Um, so my last video, I was talking about the effects, or at least what I thought was the effects of the uh, Seagum Flourish and Flourish Excel on my plants, and I found out that that was just the melting of my plants was just due to, uh, I guess the crypts melt when there's a change of environment, so maybe that was just me changing up the fertilizer, adding fertilizer, um, so that it's kind of that that made sense to me and, and I've gotten past that and uh, the thing that's strange to me though is after that point I stopped using all the fertilizers and everything and I just started getting crazy algae blooms I mean I had algae from like furry red algae to black algae and you know it was kinda of bad but then all of a sudden this green like spiderweb kind of algae came in I'm assuming it's algae and just like envelops everything. See that? I just, uh, I don't really know what's going on there. Um, some of the feedback I got in the last video was saying, oh, check your nitrates and nitrites, your ammonia and everything. So I did that. I got tests for all of those and um, my ammonia is great. So um, I know that my biological filter is working. I mean, here's the. This is just one of those eclipse setups. So, see that? It's kind of dark. But uh, you get this bio wheel, the thing they call the bio wheel, which is what's supposed to have most of the bacteria on it, and the bacteria is responsible for turning ammonia into nitrates and nitrites. So I think everything's working because. Uh, so well, anyway, I got these tests. And it seems that, looking at these, we have, here is uh, nitrites, that's NO2, um, and then this is nitrates, NO3, and I guess the idea is the ammonia that's created by the fish waste is turned into nitrates and nitrites by the biological filter. Um, nitrites are, I think, just as bad as ammonia to the fish, so they'll kill the fish, and you don't want those. So. If your filter is doing its job, all you'll have in your tank is just a low level of uh, nitrates. And the thing that's interesting here is looking at this test, I have the API tests, and uh, you can see that my numbers are looking pretty good. Actually, this says I have zero uh, parts per million of nitrates and nitrites. Um, and I just threw a pH test in there too to show that I have high pH. That's one thing that I do realize. But um, you know, high pH, as long as it's not super, super high, I don't think it's the end of the world, and I've dealt with that for a while, so, but I mean, just wanted to point that out. Um, so, that's what I'm, where I'm at. I'm looking now for other advice as to what the heck I could do about this algae. I don't really like to treat the, the tank with chemicals, if possible. So, um, who knows, maybe I have to figure something else out. I just, because this is not acceptable. This happens after two to three days after I clean the tank and get rid of this stuff, you can get rid of it pretty easily with, uh, you know, these, these uh, kind of tweezers. After you clean it up, it's like two days later, it's back. And so, just to mention here, I do uh, about 40 to 50 percent water changes every two weeks. And um, I clean the filter. And I have, uh, I run lighting about, what is it, let's say 11 hours, 11 and a half hours per day. And um, I actually have these these timers, these electronic timers, so that I can, um, you know, program it pretty, it's pretty, I don't want to say complex, but it's like three hours on, two hours off, so on and so forth with my pump. So my pump's not running all the time either. Uh, lighting, I go goes off one hour in the middle of the day, but for the most part, it's just on all day, and then, you know, it's like 9.45 to 11.30. So I guess now I'm just looking for advice on how to deal with this. Um, I started playing around adding in the Flourish Excel a little bit and I did notice like you can see that leaf right there in the middle of the screen. These 
pretty green leaves pop up when I use that stuff. And they, they're not affected by algae. I don't know if that's because they're new or if uh, maybe there's something to it. Maybe the plants are able to fight this stuff off or, you know, beat the algae to... So the idea, I guess, behind the algae is that there's those nitrates and there's nutrients that the algae can process more quickly than the plants can because of whatever reason. Maybe the plants are weak or there's something else going on. Uh, so you'd think that the fluorescent cell would help in that case, or CO2. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of just putting that out there just to see if anyone you know, can, can think of anything. I did have a lot more fish in my last video, as you probably can tell. Um, I'm happy to say that I still have these these guys, these uh, ruby tetras. They're, I think they're my favorite fish. Um, but I lost like all my, my shrimp. I just got a mono shrimp about a week ago, um, two weeks ago after I did a water change thinking that they would survive because I see them always working on the, on the wood and cleaning things out, but now I can't find them anymore either. So I don't know, I'm not quite sure. I'm definitely not going to add any more fish until I get this figured out. Uh, shrimp the same way. You know, if I get 40 algae eaters, maybe that will do the trick, but that's not really how I want to run my tank. And I don't want to keep buying new plants and everything and just having stuff die uh, in a couple weeks. It's just not cool. Oh, uh, as far as feeding, I feed them once a day uh, at most. Sometimes I don't feed them at all during the day. Um, I feed them a mix of flake food, algae wafers, and uh, you know, frozen frozen food. So I think that was all I wanted to talk about. Um, any advice or suggestions would be cool. And I'll try to take a picture before, uh, after I get everything cleaned up so you can see kind of what it looks like when, uh, you know, things are not completely covered with algae. So, uh, thanks guys. Appreciate any comments if you have them, any advice if you have it. And, uh, hopefully we can get this thing for my next video. We can get this thing looking good again. All right. Thank you.